Hi there, I'm Julie Faithan Balzer from Sakura of America. And today I wanna to show you how we're gonna take our Canson art journal and we're going to doodle all over it so that you can tell a story with your art journal. We're gonna be using two kinds of pens. We're gonna be using the souffle pens, which are a dimensional uh, matte sort of finish. And then we're gonna be using the moonlight pens, which work on dark surfaces as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna doodle my basic face structure. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna draw a big sort of U shape. Now, one thing to know about the souffle pens is that they do take a moment for the color to come up because they dry, because they're so dimensional. So you will notice that the color will darken as this video goes on. So I'm just gonna color in that whole area and I won't take the time to do it now, but just so you know. Then I'm gonna create my lips and now I'm switching to a moonlight pen. And what I'm gonna do is, there you go, bee sting lips, just like that. There's my top lip. And you know, whoever said that a face has to be realistic? One of the things that I like to do is to switch it up and add something fun and fantastical. Why not add a bottom lip that's a whole other different color like this awesome teal? The other thing, of course, that a face needs is a big old nose. So one thing is that the souffle pens, when they're brand new, do come with this little glue bit on the tip. You simply remove it and discard it, but that's what helps keep it you know, nice and wet for you when you're ready to use it. So the nose is just gonna be a little curvy line like that. Come around on both sides. There you can sort of see the nose developing. It goes up straight right into the eyebrows. It's almost like it's one big piece, just like that that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my guy some little nostrils. Let's give him a little bit of definition there. Boom, boom. And then we're going to add that little teardrop shape that's right under the center of your nose. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some eyes, two almond shaped eyes, and some ears. And did you know that your ears actually go from your eye line down to the bottom of your nose? It seems like it's too big, but it's actually amazing how large human ears are. Now, once that's all done, it's gonna look a little something like this. And now I just get to go crazy having a good time. I'm basically gonna tattoo my guy with all sorts of fun doodles. I can do something simple like dots, I can go a little bit bigger with dashes, or I can go super complicated if I wanted and make him a really pretty, or make her, I guess, a really pretty character. Maybe do some flowers all over. One thing I do wanna point out is with the eyes, I love this white souffle pen, and I think it works really well. And the color comes up just so nice and bright. And what you'll see, because I have one here where I've already done it, is that the eyes are nice and bright because of that white pen. So all I'm gonna do now is in my natural handwriting, I'm going to ask you to help me tell a story. So there's my big S. And then I'm just gonna continue writing out the word story. And then I will finish it out there you go, just like so. And the white pen that doesn't look so white right this second is actually going to transform before your very eyes and become a lot darker and richer as it dries. And eventually, I will finish that writing. I'll do a little neck, maybe with one word here. And what I'll do is I'll build the rest of the body made out of words. And here's the final cover, which I think looks beautiful and encourages everyone to tell a story with their art journals and their Sakura pens. 